marking out your dowel joint, which is the next flat frame construction joint after this corner halving or cross you halving. Need your pencil, you need a steel rule, you need tri square, you need your marking gauge, and you'll need these things here. A dowel drill, otherwise known as a brad bit drill, and these two little centers known as dowel centers. What does our drawing tell us? Drawing tells us line right down the center of the thickness of the material, 20 millimeters along, then 70 millimeters along, drilled six millimeters in diameter. What am I going to do? Measure my material, find its thickness, that's 18. I take my marking gauge, that's gonna allow me to draw parallel lines down the edge. So take my marking gauge, I set that to nine millimeters, half the thickness of my material. Stock of marking gauge against face marking on material and go down the edge. You can use it freehand if you wish or put the material as we've been doing in the vise. Come on the other one. Twenty millimeters, then seventy millimeters. So I'm going to take steel rule again. Twenty millimeter marking, then seventy millimeter marking, working from my end grain along, marking with the end of the steel rule. Is the centers marked? So now to drill the material, I need to put drill bit into the three jaw chuck, tighten it by hand. Initially, checking that the three teeth of the Jacob's chuck here tighten around the flat part of the drill, not the blades. Tighten that up with my chuck key. Check that your guard's in place. In order to drill this, we're going to use a machine vise to secure your material, just the pedestal height, just so there's not enough space to get your fingers between the bottom of the guard, top of your material. I'm gonna line up the point that I'm drilling with the end of the brad bit drill bit. Bring drill in contact with the material. Set the deck stop 25 millimeters. Now that we've got the holes drilled on one edge of our piece of material, we're looking to now get holes drilled onto the adjoining piece of material. And that requires us to use these little dowel centers. How do we use them? You insert the dowel centers into the holes that you've just drilled. Top tip to get them back out is to use the round part of your steel reel just to lift them back out. And we're going to press the edge of this piece of material against the edge of this piece of material against one another. We want to check that they are square before we start that the faces are level with one another, press them together. And that's now going to give us two new center points on our adjoining piece of material that we can drill through. We re-drill the second piece, and now what we do is we use six millimeter fluted dowel pegs. We insert the dowel pegs into hole joint. Now if we've done this correctly, then there should be square ends and that the faces are level with each other as well. That's how we do our dull joint. 